for some athlete reaction. Kat Osterman joins us now. She is a gold and silver medalist in the Olympic Games in the sport of softball, gold in 2004, silver in 2008. Softball returned to the Olympic program after 12 years of waiting for Tokyo 2020, but obviously that is uh, once again pushed off. And Kat joins us now. Uh, what was your reaction to getting the news, Kat, here on Tuesday that the Olympics would be postponed in all likelihood till 2021? You know, I think I was ready to hear um, the news. I think it was inevitable, to be honest. Um, doesn't mean it doesn't pull at your heart a little bit. I know for our team specifically, you know, we've been named since October. We've been training since then. And now you're going to say, you know, it could be another 12 months of, of training and such. And you can look at it two ways. You can be disappointed or you can think more time might actually mean, um, you know, better preparedness for us. And that's kind of how I feel to view it is just we get more time to be at our tip top shape. Um, but I can't imagine um, being an athlete that hadn't qualified yet. And especially in the environment we're in. And speak to that if you can, because there is a stress of pointing towards this ultimate athletic goal, being an Olympian, being on the U.S. Olympic team, and trying to get yourself to peak, to be at your absolute best, to qualify and then push that peak higher if you do qualify. Uh, for the athletes who might be going through that emotion today, what, what can you share with us that would help us understand what they're feeling? You know, I think the first thing that I heard when people were like, well, why rush to make a decision? It's four months away. And Yes, technically it's four months away, but if you look at, let's say, track and field or swimming, those are both two sports that have to taper for their qualifier that has an unknown date right now, and then prepare themselves and taper to be even better in July. And as of the environment we're in, especially here in the United States, you know, we're not told that we're going to get to regular training until mid-May, and you want them to be in peak shape for a qualifier within probably a month. That's not really um, ideal, I feel like. And the Olympic spirit is to have the best athletes in the best shape to have your ultimate competition. So you don't want any question marks or um, clouds looming as if someone could have been better um, with more time or with a delay. And so I think the IOC made the right decision in making that um, statement today and obviously hopefully we get a date of when the postponement is moved to soon but um you know from, from an athlete's perspective one we want to be health healthy and safe but two you have to take into the account the impact this is having on training for everyone Kat, what about the uniqueness for the softball group? Uh, some of you had retired from competition, were in coaching, were in other different parts of, uh, of your athletic life. And for many, you may have been pointing to this was going to be the last competitive endeavor uh, at the Olympics. So when you're building even towards that, there's a whole different set of circumstances that one more year potential delay adds into the equation. Yeah, I think, um, you know, one, being the oldest, I can speak that 12 more months, yes, for the body and the mind, it, it's something you have to wrap your head around and really commit to continuing um, to make sure both of those are in the right place in order to continue this journey. And for a lot of us, um, we've been waiting, or my younger teammates have been waiting a long time for this Olympic dream to happen again. And yeah. honestly, the sport of softball has been waiting 12 years, so now it's going to be 13. Um, but at the same time, when you have this dream at your fingertips, I think you'll do anything to make sure it happens. So I know we're all going to come together and devote our time um, and our training to make sure we're in the top shape. And whenever the date's announced, we'll put that as our target date and um, circle it on our calendar and be ready to go by then. But, you know, I think the biggest thing, a misconception is that, you know, you're an Olympic athlete. Well, it doesn't mean that, you know, you're making ton, tons and tons of money. So, yes, a lot of us um, put life on hold and regular life means regular jobs and family and such like that. So um, a lot of us are going to have to put that on hold again and figure out how to make ends meet for another 12 months. And unfortunately, that's a sacrifice that I think that we have to make. But most of us are willing to make in order to see this dream come alive. What have the conversations, what have the chats via text been like uh, with your teammates as uh, this was pending and then this was announced on Tuesday? I think there's been a lot of uncertainty um, just with 
you know, for a while it was thrown out, postponed one or two years. And I think the idea of two years is so big that a lot of us were kind of getting really big eyed on if that would happen. Um, so right now when they say the latest would be a year, that's obviously more ideal, but, um, just so much uncertainty. And even right now, just without a date, what is training going to look like for us? What does this mean going forward? Um, just a lot of questions that we're waiting for IOC to put out a date and then obviously USOPC to make some statements um, on what it means for our future as Team USA athletes. But for the most part, we're gonna, our team talks about coming together and instead of Tokyo 2020, it's now Tokyo 2021 and we're gonna stick together, the 18 of us, to do whatever it takes to be in the best spot going over there. You've experienced this a couple of times, as you said, waited so long to get back. Uh, it is a lot to ask someone with a life, family, job, everything else to keep going. And as you said, you pointed out uh, the age factors for you specifically. Has there been any moment where you've thought, I don't know if I could pull this together for another 12 months or, um, or the opposite? That doesn't matter. I'm going to pull it together another 12 months for one more chance to be an Olympian. I think I've been in the, um, the second the second realm there of it doesn't, I've come this far, it doesn't matter. I'm going to do whatever it takes for the next 12 months. Um, I do know when, it, when they originally said something about one to two years, I was like, I don't know if I could do it for two though. Um, so knowing it at greatest is going to be another 12 months. I think, um, I'll go ahead I'll go ahead and go through with it. I mean, I'm God willing, I'm going to do everything I can to stay in shape and healthy and knock on wood. It's been pretty good so far. So, um, but you know, I know that's a factor for some athletes and unfortunately it's one of those times that you kind of have to, you have to dig deep and figure out what it is that, what it, what it is that matters in your life and your family and everything. And I'm just blessed that, you know, we got home a little over almost two weeks ago and I had a conversation with my husband and I said, if it gets delayed a year, what does that look like? And he said, if you want to go, you're going. So I had his support. And as long as I have his support and we're going to figure out how to make everything work with bills and a house and all that, then you know what, we're going to go for it. Well, Kat, we uh, really appreciate you sharing the real life perspective. Have you found any fun, unique, different way to practice the social distancing and keep your keep your mind sharp and keep sane, which all of us are trying to do at this point? Have you guys found anything that's working for you? Um, well, my husband mows the yard a lot. <laughs> and then I tend to do, take my workout <laughs> outside in the driveway as opposed to inside where it's cooler just so I can actually get some air and get out of the building. Um, but so far, it's a lot of puzzles, a lot of reading, not as much TV as I would expect, um, but it's definitely going to uh, get interesting in the next couple of weeks. So when you're driving around, you say, who is that person who is working out in their driveway? It's an Olympian trying to stay ready for now 2021. Kat, uh, thank you for sharing uh, your feelings, your emotions on this very difficult day. And we hope that we all get to see you uh, in Tokyo somewhere here down the line. We appreciate your time. Thank you very much.